Hello there, my lovely. You seem to be doing really well. Really well rested. Yes, looking quite alive, probably, I assume. I mean, I knocked you out twice now, I believe. And you've already slept for a total of 24 hours. I'm sure anyone who slept for that long would awaken feeling well rested, despite the various mm, unnatural knockout ways I've used on you. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm sure you've had a great rest. That you take time to think about your actions. What are you saying? I can't understand a word. You seem to have something in your mouth. Mm, I still don't understand you. Uh, probably best not to talk while your mouth is occupied. Why don't you just nod or shake your head? It'll be much easier for me to understand. Ah, really? That's good. It's great you had time to think about it. You must be hungry. After all, you haven't had any food for an entire day. And what's this? Look, I've got some freshly cooked food right here. It's soup. I prepared it myself. Smells good, doesn't it? Do you want it? You want a taste? Oh, -ho. I see you're struggling against the ropes to get it. You want it, don't you? Yes, it smells very good. Unfortunately, it is just beyond your reach. Yes, just beyond your reach. Can't quite taste it, can ya? No, no, you can't. Hmm, how many times do I have to say it? No one can understand you when you speak with something in your mouth. You want me to take it off or something? I don't have to. I mean, I could just leave you like this. It is a rather appealing sight to behold. Yes. I think maybe I'll just sit here and enjoy the view. Uh, very, very You really want that off? All right, I'll take off your gag. Just hold still. There we go. So, you're feeling hungry, aren't you? You really want this food that's still just beyond your reach? Oh, no. Oh, here it is. No. I can't give it to you just yet. First, answer one question. Do you love me? So the answer is still no. How unfortunate for you. That was the wrong answer. I guess you won't be getting this food after all. Oh, you changed your mind. Are you sure about that? Didn't you just say you didn't love me? I'm pretty sure you did. Ah, well, it's great to see you are starting to think the way I do. Or rather, 
starting to see things my way here. Let me just put this down. I'll be right over to untie you after I do this. There we go. Here, let me untie you so you can go eat. Enjoy the food. I'm just gonna watch you eat it. So tell me, was the bedroom much more comfortable than the basement you're in right now? I'm sure being forced to stand up while you're tied to a pole for an entire night wasn't very relaxing. At least, not as relaxing as laying on a bed. It's spread out. Spread equal style. Oh, you're quite silent. You must be so hungry you can't afford to pay any attention to what I'm saying. Go ahead. Keep drinking the soup. It tastes good, doesn't it? At least now you know the consequences of an attempted escape. Yes. I see you have finished eating the food. Tell me, did you enjoy it? Like I said, I made it myself. You want to know the secret ingredient to your meal? Ah, yes. The secret ingredient is a dose of sleeping pills I had added just before I gave it to you. I believe you will start feeling tired right about now. Ah, yes. You're feeling tired, aren't you? And I see in your hand you tried to take the spoon and use it as a weapon against me, didn't you? Your only weapon. Uh, go ahead and sleep. You won't be having any weapons next time around, probably. You should have been a lot more careful about what you eat and what you say. Yes. But I promise you, when you awake, you will have a lot better accommodations. Yes, of course. Those pills were quite strong, weren't they? Go ahead, hit me with that spoon. You don't have the strength to make it hurt anymore, I can tell. Yes, well, the pills I used in your drink, your soup, should last until the rest of tonight. After all, it is night time, but you wouldn't know that. I will see you then. And when you wake up, we can have a lot more fun together. Don't you agree, my darling? Yes. Well, who knows? Maybe when I come to visit you, we can even sleep together tonight. But for now, I'm just gonna wait until you are fully unconscious. Then I will take you to do whatever it is I wish. And I shall have my way with you. Probably. Maybe not. Who knows what might happen. After all, you are in no position to stop me. Yes, good night, my dear. See you in a few hours, or perhaps even tomorrow. 